Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. How you doing? Um, if you're new to the channel, you could help me out greatly by subscribing or liking the video or, you know, spreading the word, trying to build the channel up. It's a relatively new channel, only a couple of weeks old. So uh, any support you can give is much appreciated. But thanks for tuning in. OK, so let's talk a little bit about the prospect of Tyson Fury fighting Dillian White. Now, White was due to fight uh, Otto Wall in Swede. And it was cancelled because of a shoulder injury. I'm not even going to go into whether the shoulder injury was real or not. I know some people are, have suspicions. I, I don't make judgments on things there's no evidence for. And that applies to anything in life. The evidence has to be compelling. Um, so I'll take him at his word. He was injured. But of course, a lot of people are saying, well, he's not really injured, is he? He wants to fight. He wants to sort of bypass Wallin and go straight to Fury. And to be honest, I wouldn't blame him for that because Wallin is potentially a handful. He ain't a bad fighter at all. Legitimate world-class heavyweight. And Dillian's earned his right to fight for that heavyweight title. He's earned it. He's had a string of back-to-back -back fights. He got knocked Spark out by AJ, came straight back. He got knocked Spark out again by Povetkin. You have to question his punch resistance. But... The, the man's fearless. He'll fight anyone. And he's a true fighting man. And, and I respect that. So, let's talk, yeah, the, the prospect of Tyson Fury against White. Now, I don't, I don't see a lot of people talking about the prospect of this not happening and Fury giving up the WBC title. And I think that's a very real possibility. Because if you look at Fury, his behaviour in the past, his... The psychology of the man, gained from watching many interviews, reading interviews, and of, and of course his actions, suggests that he's someone who won't be told what to do. I do things my way or not at all. And I don't think he'll take kindly to the WBC barking orders aim. And say, no, you've got to fight white now and you've got to do it within this amount of time. And uh, I think there's a real possibility that Fury will give up that title and just still carry on with this, you know, lineal, this lineal status, if that's what you want to call it. Um, let's say he does that. What would be the next step? Well, the next step would be that White would fight the first, the, the, the leading contender. White is the mandatory. But who's beneath him? Who's the first person beneath him? None other than a certain Deontay Wilder. White already... Uh, he, is it the interim title he's got or whatever the hell? I, I don't even pay attention to these damn belts because they're all BS. But he's got a title. But the number one contender, the number one in the ranking, shall we say, is Deontay Wilder. And as we know, there is history between White and Wilder. It goes back to a gym session. Some people say it's got something to do with, with a girl, like a woman that Wilder was seeing and White ended up with. I, I don't know. It's all a load of soap opera crap as far as I'm concerned. But there, there's, there's a beef between them. So, that, hey, that's not a bad fight at all, White against Wilder. And I don't think White would duck that. Prior to the two beatings, real shellackings he got of Fury, I would have picked Wilder to win, to beat White. But what's he got left? Where's he's at? Where is he at? We don't know. We don't know. Um, so I think there'll be a competitive fight. Although White, when he's hit cleanly, he, he, the lights go out, and Wilder can still bang. So that, that's that's for a different video. That, that you know that that's a discussion for a different video. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if Fury said the other. Oh, the other alternative is that Fury is made the champion. Uh, what they call it? Franchise champ champion emeritus emeritus or <laughs> all this crap of I it mean, <laughs> these belts these sanctioned bodies are a joke are they but you know they because i don't think the wbc would want to lose fury because he's such a big cash cow sanctioning fees and so on so what they might do is they might say okay tyson you're not happy with fighting white we'll make you franchise champ and then they'll make you know say for example white versus wilder which is a, a very sellable fight over here anyway in America probably not so much in America uh, well Wilder's got a big name in America but White the Americans re remember White for being flattened by AJ and Povetkin um, 
But yeah, that's another scenario that could happen. So Tyson, in a sense, maintains his, his relationship with the WBC, uh, can walk around saying, I am the franchise champ, I am the, you know, like uh, our, our friend Canelo, uh, I am the governor, but you two want to fight for the world title, you go ahead. So that's another possibility. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, put, it, put your comments down. Uh, I, I could be totally wrong about this, and you know why? Because sometimes I'm totally wrong. Because as a boxing fan, I'm wrong sometimes. Just like you are, just like everyone is. But I think it's an interesting discussion, um, especially when you consider Tyson's psychology, which I, I've always found to be pretty pretty interesting, but easy to read. Easy to read. Full of contradictions, isn't he? And I, I don't mean that disrespectfully to him. He's, he's a cheap thought in the ring. But, but anyway... Put your comments down, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll catch you later. So enjoy your evening, and take care. Bye-bye.